Yes, sir. My tricker back up in this thing, man. Today, we'll be taking a trip down memory lane as we look back at some of the most bizarre and creepiest moments of 2023. But before we hop into that, I want to thank each and every one of you for your support, dedication, and for making this quite possibly one of the most influential small channels on YouTube, period. With that being said, guys, hope you enjoy. Much love and happy holidays. The Bill Gates Foundation invested almost $100 million in Anheuser-Busch, the Bud Light Company. And you have to ask yourself, why does he want to be involved in a beer company? According to the Celebrity Blinds website, Crazy Days and Nights, the wealthy farmer, that's Bill Gates, didn't make the huge investment in the beer company because he thought it would make a big turnaround. He did it so they would buy their agriculture stuff from his farms. That is a scary thought. That just made their case even worse, bro. I'm not taking my chances with the Appeal Light Lager 12 pack. Oh, Sailing back, I can't see. A state of emergency in effect this morning as wind-fueled wildfires are burning dangerously close to homes. Officials say strong winds from Hurricane Dora are fueling these fires that have burned multiple structures in Maui. Also on the Big Island, evacuations are ongoing right now. And the Coast Guard says a dozen people were rescued after they jumped into the ocean to escape the flames. Is this unprecedented in the history of Hawaii? It is unprecedented. Um, when we deal with hurricane and disasters um, following hurricane, we're usually dealing with heavy rain, we're dealing with flooding. Um, the fact that we have wildfire in multiple areas um, as a result of indirectly from a hurricane is unprecedented. Since the last time I spoke to CNN, it has turned very serious and very dire. I'm just going to ignore the fact that they just tried to blame this one on a hurricane and just send my thoughts and prayers out to everybody impacted, bro. It looks like the whole island got destroyed. Japan's Prime Minister eats fish from treated radioactive waters. Yes, just like in The Simpsons. Japan's Prime Minister, Fumio Kishida, has been filmed eating fish sashimi from Fukushima to try to show that it's safe. Kishida and his cabinet ministers ate a selection of flounder, octopus and sea bass for lunch. The fish was caught off the Fukushima coast after treated radioactive wastewater had been released into the Pacific Ocean. And yes, it's quite similar to this scene from a 1990 episode of The Simpsons. Oh, right. Where Mr. Burns eats Blinky, a three-eyed fish. The wastewater has built up since a 2011 earthquake and tsunami triggered one of the world's worst nuclear disasters at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Japan insists the treated water is safe, and so far the UN's nuclear watchdog has backed them. But China immediately banned imports of Japanese fish after the water was released. He's probably not feeling the effects now, but in about four to five years, he's gonna regret this decision. Imagine she was your boss. Hello, I'm Mika. A Colombian drinks company hired what it claims to be the world's first AI CEO. Mika, who's responsible for the company's strategic planning, believes that more CEOs just like her will soon crop up around the world as AI blends into businesses. As a robot CEO, I don't really have weekends. I'm always on, 24-7, ready to make executive decisions and stir up some AI magic. Mika is a more advanced version of her sister Sophia, who was activated in 2015 by Hanson Robotics. Together, great things. Boasting that she is a game changer for profit making, would you be happy if Mika was your CEO? This could be a smart move because if the company tanks, you could just blame the algorithm, but it also gives it the power to fire people. And I don't think AI can process excuses yet. I knew this technology was out there, but I was not prepared for this. This woman pays for her groceries with her hand. You can see the transaction right here being approved when her hand hovers over the device. I'll show you the full clip with the original audio in a second, but it's only two to three hundred dollars to get this implemented in your hand and it's the size of a grain of rice or a safety pin they supposedly have great security just in case there are hackers trying to track your location or trying to hack your bank account which just sounds weird to say because this is a device inside of your body and i don't know if you know this but thousands of people already have this implemented in their hand now i heard conspiracies of this being the beginning of the end and the mark of the beast and i don't know if something like this is demonic in itself but nothing surprised me anymore and for that reason I'm out here's the full clip I'm at Whole Foods I'm about to pay for my groceries with my hand I'm going to pay for my that's the coolest thing ever 
If they can figure out how to hack the Pentagon, they can definitely figure out how to hack a hand shit, bro. This is just a slippery slope. So I'm sure by now everyone is well aware of this new NPC TikTok trend. And if you live under a rock and somehow never saw this yet, here's a clip from Pinky Doll, the one who created it. Coconut, so good. Ooh. What? Grab, 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 grab. And recently, everyone's been doing this. Now, everyone's doing it because apparently you can make thousands of dollars literally acting like an NPC on TikTok Live. And I don't think it's a coincidence that they're trying to push this while they're also trying to have everyone accept AI into the future. I think this is one of their techniques for people to accept AI and AI-like behavior for the future. But all I gotta say is people are out here making thousands of dollars on TikTok Live doing this. So if you see me in a TikTok Live tonight, you gotta be an NPC yourself if you like this. This woman saw something on her flight that no one else could see. This happened moments before takeoff. This woman was on an American Airlines flight when out of nowhere she got up and claimed she saw someone at the back of the plane that wasn't real. What? I'm telling you, I'm getting the Leave it or they cannot believe it. People on the plane were confused and some even started to worry because no one knew what she was talking about. Your back there is not real. And you can sit on this plane and you can sit with them or not. I'm not going to. The woman ended up canceling her flight and got off. This incident delayed the flight by three hours and people weren't happy. Now the reason the flight was delayed was because the crew had to check to make sure nothing was suspicious on the plane. Plus weather conditions worsened so that added to the delay. A lot of people are saying they would have gotten off of the flight. Comparing this situation to the movie Final Destination, where basically unexplainable things happen and the flight ends up crashing. And right now it's still unclear if the woman was possibly on something that made her act this way or if she actually saw some type of creature or ghost. With flights being it's expensive right now. I don't know too many people willing to hop off and pay that cancellation fee. So maybe she really did see something. NASA has released some new information that they have lost a tool bag off of the International Space Station and now it's floating around up there and you can see it with binoculars. Oh my gosh. Oh, interesting. Because normally if some planes at 130,000 feet, you don't see them at all. They're, they're completely they're too small and invisible. So planes are invisible at 130,000 feet, and they're about the same size as the International Space Station. If you look at it, it sits about over a football field, and the International Space Station is 250 miles up, and they're telling you that you can see this little tool bag from the ground with binoculars. So if you couldn't see this at 130,000 feet, and a football field is like a little speck from an airplane flying at 34,000 feet, how do they expect you to believe that this little bag that they drop can be visible from the ground? If we're not able to see an airplane at that height, then common sense would tell you that you shouldn't be able to see a tool bag so nasa needs to come with an actual scientific explanation because neil degrasse tyson will give us the runaround i guess human or non-human biologics non-human and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program i talked to that are currently still on the program you've stated that the government is in possession of potentially non-human spacecraft based on your experience and extensive conversations with experts do you believe our government has made contact with intelligent extraterrestrials something I can't discuss in public setting. Um, okay, I can't ask when you think this occurred. <laughs> um, if you believe we have crashed craft, uh, stated earlier, do we have the bodies of the pilots who piloted this craft? As I've stated publicly already in my News Nation interview, uh, biologics came with some of these recoveries. Yeah. Um, were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program I talked to that are currently still on the program. And was this documentary evidence, this video, photos, eyewitness, like how would that be determined? The specific documentation I would have to talk to you in a skiff about. This announcement is concerning because it came out of nowhere and it seems like they're trying to prep us for something. I'm at the Denver airport with the new art installation in the center of the, the airport. You start off here with the world. The South Pole, there's a gate, and then around the world is sand. At the North Pole, there's this hole that leads up to this arrow. The arrow points down to what it looks like perhaps a firmament to a train station. I should also mention the world is depicted as flat over there. From the train station from the arrow, we come down here, perhaps 
a way to get in and out of the world as we know it. Again, surrounded by rocks and sand. Maybe this is where the lizard people live. This definitely doesn't help the Denver airport's case when it comes to the theory that it's an Illuminati outpost, bro. But the last time I was there, it took three hours to get through security. So they got other things to worry about than these art installations. None of those trees look rooted in the ground, bro. It's possible that the roots grew out to the side, but I don't know how they stay upright with that lack of stability. Scotland is going through it right now. Uh, Apu, Ned Flanders. Wait a minute. You did work on the census, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's the season where y'all yeah. predicted Donald Trump it, right? Uh, don't believe those. It's just coincidence. You mean all those predictions, Donald Trump and aliens were going to come? And nah, it was just a... Film, bro, film. It was a lucky guess. You know what was a lucky guess? Did you see the second Back to the Future movie? I also saw it was in 9-11. No, did you see Back to the Future Well, it, it kind of seems like you're, Back to the Future you're switching see, the topics. Uh, he's the... Uh, what's the Fox. He's, what about the 9-11? No, 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 no. They didn't predict anything about 9-11. I saw <coughs> it. You've seen it, right? So how, like, how would you explain it? Hold on a second. No, that, it was just, it was a coincidence. Just yeah. A coincidence. As a rule of thumb, you know somebody lying when they put their fist on their forehead to think about their response. Then all they come up with was, it was a coincidence. Monday, July 3rd was the hottest day in the world ever recorded. It's hot out there on an unprecedented level. Monday, July the 3rd was the hottest day ever recorded around the world, according to data from the US-based National Centers for Environmental Prediction. The world's average temperature reached 17 degrees Celsius or 62 degrees Fahrenheit, which scientists say is the highest since records began. Experts say the hottest day is only the first in a series of new climate records to be set this year. This heat wave was made 30 times more likely due to the climate crisis, according to World Weather Attribution. I know it was hot, but the hottest day ever recorded in history, bro, the situation is getting critical. Someone just snuck into Bohemian Grove, recorded it, and posted it on YouTube, and it wasn't Alex Jones. The site was completely empty, there wasn't any secret meetings or rituals going on, but he did get a good video of the big owl inside of it and what goes on around it. And if you saw my three-part series about Bohemian Grove, you know that this is a pretty big deal because of the stuff that goes on in it. and the people that attend these meetings. No way. Well, it's the owl. Bunch of ferns have grown on it. go like behind the hole. I feel like Bohemian Grove is just the elite's version of the Burning Man Festival, but instead of fun activities, they're just coming up with plans for world domination all day. There is news in the unsolved Tupac Shakur nearly three decades ago now. Las Vegas police tonight confirming a search warrant in connection with the case executed for a house in nearby Henderson, Nevada. Authorities not providing details as of yet. The iconic rapper was shot in his car off the Vegas Strip in September of 1996. Finally, but what happened to the first 48? Snapchat AI has been hacked and it is going absolutely berserk right now. So a lot of people have reported that their Snapchat AI has started posting to its story. This image that you're seeing right now behind me is apparently the thing that everyone is claiming that it has been posting to its story. In addition to posting to its story, it's also apparently telling people their own address. And I've even seen people reporting that the chats they have with their AI have gotten very, very weird or creepy recently. 
Now all of this is happening because the AI is apparently hacked. You see, hackers somehow managed to gain control over the Snap AI, and they're making it do these very, very weird things. Now, these people that hacked into the AI are also probably going to be trying to get people's data. So to be safe, please be sure not to interact with the AI right now, and please tell all of your friends that it's been compromised and not to interact with it either, because we don't know exactly what these hackers want, or, you know, why they even decided to hack the Snap AI to begin with. Now, I'll be updating y'all as this situation is resolved, so be sure to check back here later, and I'll have more info for y'all. I'm forever skeptical about AI after this, because now how can you trust that you're not actually talking to a hacker on the other end? Alright, so this here's a video of that creepy woman, Shelly Mora Capito, when she pokes Mitch McConnell in the hand. Watch this here. I'm recording off a, a big screen TV, so just be patient, but watch. She pokes him in the hand, and look at this guy looking right at her as, as she does it. And then this dude over here, he watches, and he smirks at what she did. And Mitch turns into a turtle. <laughs> he got hit with that MK Ultra poke. I'm sure there's a perfectly natural explanation for this, like maybe a volcano erupted underwater or something, but I've never seen the ocean turn pitch black like that. It looks like a pool of asphalt. After Matthew's tragic passing, Doja Cat deleted all of her videos except for this one. So obviously the comments on that video are crazy. People are like, what? Do you have something to do with this? She now deletes the video. There's nothing up now. Take a closer look at this logo and you'll see that something is off. Now the word friends is seven letters and in between each letter is a dot that represents each of the friends. You can see how it correlates to each one here. The dot in between the D and the E is gone. Why is one of them missing? This is just conspiracy theory. I like talking about conspiracy theories. This is not a disrespectful thing. And this was a promotion for her new music video called Demons. And we all know how she's been recently and all of the other conspiracy theories. Now I get the Friends is a popular TV show, but like the timing's really weird. You can't deny that. Everything is intentional. How would this have been in her? What kind of team she had? How would they forget the first dot? But the promotional photo came out exactly two months before what happened to him. First, I gotta send my condolences out to the Perry family, but we know Doja Cat is a dark priestess, so I would not be surprised if there was more to this one than meets the eye. It looks like somebody just traveled through a wormhole, and I'm not a visual effects expert, but it seems like it would be hard to fake with all that camera movement, but I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think about that one. Hey folks, brace yourself for what I consider an extraordinary challenge for any human. A trail camera strategically placed by the police at a crime scene captures an imposing figure reminiscent of Bigfoot stature. He effortlessly lifts a sizable tree trunk. This impressive feat involves elevating the 12 inch diameter, 25 foot long log a jaw dropping 30 feet into the air, followed by a resounding slam. The displayed strength and power exceeds human strength, with the estimated weight of the massive log hitting an impressive 530 pounds. Could this trail camera have captured a genuine Bigfoot in action? Check it out.
don't know if that was a Bigfoot or something else, but I know a human could never pick up an entire tree by the short end and swing it like a Louisville slugger like that. Listen up, y'all. This is getting really strange. Balenciaga just had their Illuminati party in Beverly Hills over the weekend. Cardi B was one of the main attractions. But let's look a little deeper into this. A lot of celebrities, of course, were in attendance, like Lil Wayne, Kim Kardashian, and 2 Chains. Yes, Sexy Red has now officially joined the committee. And why does she have the devil horns on? Hmm. Y'all remember when Ice Spice was just coming out and then she started taking pictures with Kim Kardashian and all of a sudden she became a, pretty much a superstar? And once you have your selfie with Kim, now you have been inducted. But don't we all remember this when Balenciaga had the scandal and Kim Kardashian said on her Instagram story that she would never support Balenciaga again? Right there. I mean, what in the Illuminati is this supposed to be? Now, I need you guys to really pay attention right here. A lot of y'all I noticed don't do your research. Nicole Kidman was at the Balenciaga event. Do y'all know what that means? In case y'all didn't know, Nicole Kidman was in a movie with Tom Cruise about the secret societies. And man, this is like a crazy movie, one of my favorite movies. I'm surprised that more people have not seen Eyes Wide Shut. But it basically tells this creepy story about how her husband, Tom Cruise, gets invited to this secret party, and then all of a sudden his world gets flipped upside down, and he's going through all this craziness in this movie. And yes, folks, this is where a lot of people get their ideas from in these music videos and these rappers, is from this movie. So the fact that Nicole Kidman was there in one of the main attractions, I find very interesting to connect the dots. Wiz Khalifa even decided to show up in this shoulder pad, weird, whatever that is you're wearing, man. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if the after party looked like this. I feel like the only reason why Kim even made that post speaking out back in the day is because she was with Kanye. And now that he's out the picture, it's fair game. But everybody here looks like they're trying to take over the world with these super villain costumes. I'm sorry, they just found what under the sea? Nah. Over in Alaska, a group of scientists were basically exploring the sea in their submarine. Down at a depth of over two miles, which is bloody deep, they found something insane. They saw this on the floor. They may be thinking, what is that? Well, exactly. It appears to be some kind of gold orb which was just sitting on the bottom of the seabed, which is obviously two miles deep, which makes it crazier. Scientists use their vehicle machinery to basically pick up this orb and take it back to shore. The thing just stands out because there was nothing else like it around it. It was just in the middle of the seabed, one gold orb, nothing else, which makes it weird. When they brought it back, this is what it looked like in the lap. Yeah, weird. Very weird. I mean, scientists have found some unusual fish and species of all kinds of things down there, but not quite like this. The craziest part is that scientists are absolutely baffled over this, completely. No one has any idea what this could be at all. They said the most plausible explanation is it's some kind of old golden casing, but they're still not 100% sure. Now make sure you hit that follow button and I will keep you updated. It looks like some sort of alien egg casing that's something escaped from based on the hole in the side of it, bro. I'm a little concerned about this one. We went from yesterday, 1 a.m., 50 mile per hour tropical storm. Everyone in Acapulco was thinking, okay, we have to ride out a tropical storm. Uh, we have a rainy day. We have windy conditions. We'll stay inside. Then the storm went up to 165 mile per hour winds. It went over you know, this ocean maritime heat wave, climate change, yes, El Nino, yes, check, check. And this thing, none of our forecast models saw this coming. No forecasters saw this coming. There wasn't one storm chaser that went down here for this storm, and they all would have been here if they knew it was coming. So residents had no time to prepare for one of the worst storms ever to make landfall in our world's history in a metropolitan area. Now it is weakened, of course, and now heading over central Mexico, Jose. But I just can't stress enough. Just you know, there is a disaster. I mean, a Category 2 hit this area and 200 people and they had notice. This was a Category 5 with 12-hour notice, Jose. I'm concerned of how they're going to get water, food, some medical supplies within the next couple days. This is going to be a catastrophic humanitarian disaster and lives are on the, uh, you know, at risk right now. Before I begin, I just want to send my thoughts and prayers out to anybody who was impacted by this in Acapulco. To not be evacuated and it's a Category 5 sounds like a means for disaster, but the way that it rapidly intensified into a Category 5 overnight makes me think it's a heart project. Hold on, Jamie Foxx gets hospitalized 
hospitalized in April. Three months later, we finally hear from him. And this is what he looks like now, but the timing is ironic because it was right when he started to expose P. Diddy's party. If you haven't heard about that, go check out my three-part series real quick. But how about the movie he just released called They Cloned Tyrone? I mean, what is that timing? But Kanye did the same thing. He started to expose the music industry, disappears for a couple months, comes back, and then looks like this. And I know Jamie Foxx was in critical condition, so I don't want to jump down the rabbit hole and make assumptions because this is someone's life we're talking about here. But the timing is just wild. Comment down below what you guys think about that. After seeing that clone Tyrone, bro, it makes sense why they would want him silenced. And he definitely does not look the same. So some people will say this is caused by wind erosion and rain. Others will say this is nothing more than a natural rock formation. But Breda, that's a petrified cyclops. And it's not just a cyclops. There's a whole cave of petrified furniture, beings, people, all type of mad things, brother. Like, look at that. It's because a chair. A petri... Do they shoot? That's a person, brother. A petrified person. Now, I don't know where this is. It says it's somewhere in Russia. Or Ukraine. But this is a mad thing, bro. If anyone knows what this is, come, somebody tell me. I mean, who is that? Who is that? That that that's that's somebody, bro. That ain't just a normal rock formation. I'm not having it. And I'm not a scientist. And I don't study rocks. But brother, that's a the Cyclops looks like a statue to me, but he might be right about everything else, bro. I've never seen a chair with leather penny lovers. So there's some video, <laughs> this video, of a sun bear. It hit social media. People have been claiming that that's actually a person. In a bear suit. In a obviously a person. Bear what? costume. Watch what sits down, though. They point out that its posture and legs look human <laughs> and that the fur sags around its hips. It like, looks like quote, a poorly stone bear wait, suit. Wait, wait, wait. A pair of baggy pants. But zoo officials say sun bears are slender. They're not like grizzlies. <laughs> Least. He's and talking. He, explains, but he is that talking. Hey, Watch him sit, though. in a fursuit wouldn't last more than a few minutes on a hot summer day before collapsing. Now, let's see if he sits down. Oh, they don't show, we don't have the video of him okay. sitting? Because when he sits, you can tell he's a he's a real bear, not a not a play Well, bear. you're right. Sorry. He's having a there go. Oh. See? Now, that's a bear move. I've never seen a bear with my exact body type like that, but I'll take their word for it. All right, guys, that was the video. But as you know, there's plenty more where that came from. So if you do want to see a part two, spam that like button, leave a comment, and I'll put something together for you guys. Y'all take care of yourself.